There are now several places across the valley with distracted driving ordinances in place. You can see a few of them right behind me here. Well, now there's one where you can't even hold a device in your hand, period. That's right. And our Stanley Roberts caught several drivers misbehaving behind the wheel. How can you tell they're texting? Because they're swerving, they're hitting the brakes, they're leaving their lane, they're uh, pretty much that's it. You can tell, you can tell when they're texting. I'm in Glendale and there's a new law in the books. But what is it? I want to say it's the driving and no texting. Is that the one we're talking about? Well, she's close, but that law is in the next city over. It's a tale of two cities. In Phoenix, you can hold your phone while you talk on it. You just can't text while you're driving. But in Glendale... Your eyes are on the road. You're not focused on anything but your hands on the wheel. Yes, there is now a hands-free law in the city of Glendale. And I wanted to see how it was going. So the new law is hands-free. Hands-free what? Hands-free driving. What does that mean? Driving with no hands? Really? Well, if you look at some of the drivers in Glendale, it seems like they are already driving with no hands. But let's be honest, many of us know what hands-free means. Yet we complain when we see other people holding their phones. You can't hold your phone anymore while you're driving. Good. You shouldn't. Do you hold yours now? No, I have kids. I never use my phone when I'm driving. Good. Yeah. Have you ever stopped at a light and used it? Yeah. If you were at a red light and you had some time, would you text your friend and say, I'm on my way? Um, I honestly, I probably would. Well, under the hands-free law, that is also illegal. Also, holding a phone firmly attached to your ear under the Glendale hands-free law could have you chatting on the side of the road with a Glendale police officer or even an Arizona state trooper. If you're wondering how much will the hands-free ticket set you back, well, the first offense is $250, which jumps to $295 if you don't pay early. Big enough fine? We should be more. <laughs> be careful what you wish for. In Glendale, Stanley Roberts for Arizona's Family. Now, this is a considered a primary offense, meaning officers can pull you over specifically for this violation alone. Uh, drivers will have a warning period for the next six months. Now, if you have an issue that you want Stanley to look into, just drop him a note at cut misbehaving at azfamily.com. You can also connect with Stanley on Facebook or Twitter. We'll be right back.